Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Avinash Nankani and I am second year medical student and continuing a module guide series. In this uh, video, we are going to talk about how to study for cardiovascular module. So before starting any module, try to divide its subjects into two components, majors and minors. So in majors of CVS, we have uh, patho, physio and anatomy anatomy as in whole uh, uh, like histo, gross and embryo and in minors we have biochemistry and pharmacology and community health sciences, community medicine, behavioral sciences. So uh, as I always say always try to start your module with histology because it is like the basic and it is like the easiest information of that module. So in histo of cardiovascular system we have chapter number 13 from Lycosin. I'll just add all the like chapter wise uh, uh, chapter wise details of all the subjects in the end of this video with a picture so if you are not noting down that's perfect so from a store do chapter number 13 and after that start doing anatomy and in anatomy there's a little part and that is middle mediastinum once you are done with anatomy uh, oh, gross anatomy so start over the embryo uh, embryo is like the minor but it is like the most important pharyngeal arches questions are mostly asked in like you know exams of all the universities so do try to cover pharyngeal arches and development of cardiovascular system and blood so these are just two topics that you can cover from embryo and you can either watch the youtube videos or whatever book you are referring langman or klm whatever of once you're done with the whole section of anatomy come come to the like physio and in physio there are like two options either you can use costanzo basically i'll just show you the costanzo costanzo is this book uh, i never used it in my first year but like i tried to get its pdf and i somehow managed to read it uh, read from it in my annual exams but then Rafi asked me to use this in like second year so I don't use Guyton anymore and I'm using Costanzo and I really love that book and it's like amazing so I'll definitely recommend you for using Costanzo over Guyton Guyton is like lengthy so simply I will tell you Costanzo is not long and Guyton is long so you have two options either Costanzo or Guyton from Costanzo you have chapter number four and that is cardiovascular physiology and from Guyton you have two units unit three and unit four unit three is heart and unit four is circulation so you have to cover all two units and there are a, a particular specific like topics and those are uh, ECG so you can either do it from Najib Dr. Najib videos or you can do it from Osmosis. I personally did it from Osmosis. I did not have any time to do it from the Jeep, so I just Osmosis ki video dekh li thi and that was amazing. So I definitely recommend doing Osmosis video for ECG. And like, yeah, one more thing that I did was I, there's uh, YouTube videos of Ninja Nerds. So try to cover all those videos. There were like 17 videos of Ninja Nerds of cardiovascular system physiology. So go through uh, those videos, and once you're done with those videos, like try to make notes of uh, ninja nerds and then just read the costanzo or guide in whatever book you are following i'll definitely recommend costanzo give it a try and power lips for physio of cardio and respiratory module both are like more than important like it are very much important so just go through the cvs power lips in your labs or whatever spirometry and like there are a lot of things in power lips so do uh, go through the power lip details and after uh, that come to the pathology so in pathology you have two chapters and I'll definitely recommend pathoma for that and we have two chapters from uh, pathoma and those are chapter number seven and chapter number eight most of people just go through this chapter number eight and maybe bhi yehi kiya tha mujhe module ke end pata chala tha that we have to do chapter number seven too so I'll definitely say that chapter number seven and chapter number eight Dono karne, but from chapter number seven you you have to skip tumors chapter number seven complete nahi karna lekin usme se like jo uh, initial parts se I get hypertension wagera the so you have to uh, do that and secondly chapter number eight jo hai cardiac uh, cardiac pathology and chapter number seven vascular pathology you have to cover both of these and after that 
so by now you are done with the majors of CVS and now you have two minors and that are biochemistry and pharmacology for biochemistry I'll recommend uh, Lipin core definitely and they are like chapter number 4, chapter number 14, chapter number 16, chapter number 27 and 28 from Lipin Codes Biochemistry and from all these chapters the important thing is to remember the enzymes because mostly modules mein we don't remember enzymes but in this module enzymes are very much important so do go through them and the last subject that is pharmacology Personally, if you have personally, I'll suggest that if you have done ANS in respiratory module from Kaplan, so that's perfect. ANS is highly tested in this module too. And other than that, antihypertensive drugs and antiarrhythmia and opioids are tested in this module for pharmacology section. So you can just go through the videos of uh, speed pharmacology and I'll just add the link in the description so you can go through them easily to review do not go through any book but yeah do uh, ANS from Kaplan if you haven't done by now so yeah that's uh, all for this module and one more thing that I'll mention for CBS is CBS is like one of my favorite modules and it's very interesting so do it from the day one of your match uh, like from your CBS module because by this time you are almost done with all the modules of your first year so do go through this properly and like do not leave anything from this module for your prep leave or like the gap you get bit, uh, before the annual exam so do, uh, uh, do that properly and Ninja Nerds is must for this module it will like clearly cover your physio concepts and one more thing people do is and most of the seniors recommended too that CVS major is only physiology but no CVS uh, ki anatomy be equally uh, like important hai just tarah CVS ki physio hai so do go through both of them or uh, a lot of questions are tested from anatomy in CVS too so yeah and also one more thing if you are not doing Guyton do go through the graphs of Guyton uh, learning about ECG and stuff so yeah that's all for this module